Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are on the off-ramp. Join us this week as we explore the Big Whitesell Provincial Campground. You will be able to find out some of the features of this campground and why you might want to stay here. And join us near the end where we will feature one of our favorite camping meals. Welcome to Site B23E. And this is in the Big White Shell Provincial Campground. And here's our campsite. It's actually quite a nice, wonderfully sheltered site. Um, we had some wind earlier and uh, our awning remained in place, which is always a... Uh, yeah, our nice. awning is more of a sun shelter maybe. But you're going to notice the Canadian flag in there. If you're ever trying to find us in a campground, you see that hanging on our van, you know who we are. It's on the off-ramp. So we've got, I guess, a couple of things to know on this campsite. Um, the water and electrical are on the opposite side of the service center yeah. on the on the RV itself. And um, so make sure you have a long enough water hose. I had to add a little extension to ours. We've run into um, electrical or water problems like that before where it's actually quite a distance. So to have some extensions is good. Yeah, it's good. Our electrical cable's long enough, we were good there. Now this site is quite private, well treed. We had lots of shade here in the later afternoon. And so it's something that we really appreciate about this site is uh, you don't yeah. really see the neighbors or hear them. Uh, one thing we should note right away, so we bought these off lanterns and um, we had horse flies buzzing around us so Lorraine quickly went and lit one up and it was amazing how quickly they disappeared. Yeah for many of you the idea of using chemicals might be a problem but I get quite severe reactions from bug bites and so I appreciate whatever uh, forms of you know methods I can use to kind of keep the bites off of me and keep comfortable so we could sit there and read and not be swatting bugs this is our campsite. Looks inviting, doesn't it? From this campsite, we saw this path, and when I booked this uh, campsite, I could tell that it was kind of close to the water, but you know, just on a map that you see online, it was hard to tell how close. So I was kind of excited to see that this trail was right next to our campsite, and we right away went and explored this trail, and it brings us to a beautiful spot on the water. If you're traveling with kids, there's a wonderful play structure at the center part of the campground near the washroom facilities. And the washrooms, they look like they're very new. They're very clean, roomy, of course accessible, uh, handicap accessible. You'll uh, really be um, happy <laughs> to be able to use these for, during your camping experience. And again, the cost for the showers is a loony, and you get three minutes for a loony. And hot water. In fact, this one we had to be careful, the water was a little too hot. So there are some tennis courts here. We had a little thunderstorm come through last night, so it left a little bit of water. So depending on what side of the net you play on. Exactly. So we're going to go wandering off into the bush again, and we're going to find the trail that leads to the beach and show you guys the beach. Now we wouldn't take this normally to go to the beach because we carry or we pull our red wagon to the beach. This would not be a red wagon trail. No, this is also a long way around. But beautiful. It's about a five minute walk to the beach from where our campsite is. So this is the boat launch here at this campground. And we've seen lots of people bringing boats uh, here. Uh, the campsites are so large that a lot of people are just storing their truck, their camper, their boat, 
all in one campsite. It's, they're, they're very roomy, the campsites. We saw one campsite with a large fifth wheel. Yeah. Two large full-size half tons extended cabs, and then a boat and trailer. They are nice big campsites. There's benches up in the grass, picnic tables. Another good spot for a day tripper. You don't have to be a camper to come to these spots. And the water is wonderfully clear and crisp, but it did feel good going in. It was very refreshing. All right, this is the designated swimming area. Yesterday we walked on this hike. There was water running down these routes and this pathway, and I chose to wear the wrong shoes. I just wore my regular runners. Today I have my hiking boots on. Not going to uh, get soaking wet feet again. There's still the water, but not as much as yesterday. We must have had a pretty good rainstorm here Saturday to Sunday. Yeah, the, that rain would have uh, caused the water to run down this hill for sure. Okay, here we go up Signal Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Signal Hill. That's your name for it? That's my name for it now, yeah. Just seeing I'm well, getting... I might need your hand to get up one of these oh. rocks here. Okay. Here we go, you're pulling me up. That's the big white shell lake in the background. All right. And we have more of a now climb ahead of us. A few more rocks to navigate. Watch the ledge. Isn't that incredible, that rock face? Watch your step there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to go down on this spot, so I'm going to hang on to uh, these trees that are beside. Uh, just walk through a spider web again. Uh, that was a thick one. So the convenience of having Wade walk in front of me is that he breaks the spider webs. That was a bad one. Yikes. Oy. It's all over my glasses. Here, hold this one. <laughs> oh. Oy, that was a bad one. Oh, we broke all the spider webs yesterday. Oh, that one was amazingly thick. So we don't have our all trails map on with us. We had an idea that this was a loop and uh, it's actually quite well marked. I mean some of the pathways look very obvious but on the rocks it's not and so we counted on these little blue and in some case they were yellow arrows but they but they did really direct us to our, uh, to our spot. And Wade's pointing out something that's absolutely amazing oh, here. Oh, there's in a White bunch Hill. here. Look, there's three over there as well. There's, oh, there's like a pile, yeah. Wow. That's a lot in one spot because I see one in the middle. So there's about five here. And these lady slippers are the most amazing kind of white shell. There's one there which is just starting to spread out. So there's four oh, more, yeah. five of that one there. You see this? We've got actually. You can step into the. This is a lot. You can do the mask if you before. Alright, our last descent. It's Mexican Fiesta Night once again at the Kalers. Corn in the cob. Lorraine has chopped a bunch of fresh grilled veggies, which we'll barbecue over, um, or in a basket of the barbecue, we'll grill them. And in here, the quinoa has been started. The corn on the cob is boiling. And as soon as that's done, we'll get that ready. And then we'll get the uh, meat, which is ready to be prepared. We'll just get that heated up in the pot as well. Okay, so we've also added black beans to the ground beef now. so. Black beans has always kind of been a staple for us. That's good. Quinoa should just about be ready. I won't lift the lid just yet. And our veggies. Take a look at them. Ooh. Oh, they're starting to look a little grilled and brown. That's good. Another five minutes, probably. So the meal has been prepared by Lorraine. She's my sous chef. Yeah. 
I get to do the cooking. A little bit of fresh salsa. Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo with uh, cilantro. Thanks for joining us at the Big White Shell Lake Campground. This is a provincial camp campground in the middle of the White Shell and wow, for whatever reason, it feels kind of remote, doesn't it, Wade? It does feel a little remote compared to what we're used to, but this is our first time camping here, so, so that's a, a new experience there. It's a longer drive than most of the other lakes in the Big White Shell, um, but it's all paved road, so you don't have to worry about hitting gravel or anything like that. Um, it feels a little more remote because the trees are a little different here. Something it feels, yeah, it feels. It feels more northerly, and I don't know why. And yeah, it just somehow just feels like that. Maybe but, all the evergreens or something. Yeah, but uh, it's also it seems to be a fishing lake. We've seen lots of fishing boats, and um, yeah, every campsite seems to have a boat. Boy, was I jealous. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like people went out fishing. So if you know more about this lake than we do, and you have fished here, and you know that it's a fishing lake, put it in our comments. So. Uh, anybody else who might be interested in coming to this campground will know that they'll be able to catch fish here. Yeah, so if exactly. you know about it, tell us about it. Yeah, exactly. Next week our plans are to go to Nudimik, uh, Nudimik Lake and camp there and uh, hopefully... Yeah, we are expecting to be able to bring special guests with us to Nudimik. Now it all depends on the restrictions and so of course that uh, we'll have to wait and hear how how that will go. Either and the, way, and we're going be, to Nudimik. Yeah, and that would be the COVID restrictions. So yes. depending what the, if they open up the doors for uh, multi-families or for, for larger groups to get together again. So it'll depend on that. We are obeying and respecting the rules yes. and, and we do want to stay within that as well. So, so um, that is our plan for next week. We've really enjoyed this campground. We hope you guys get a chance to come camping here as well too. It is beautiful. We've had a good time hiking and swimming and just walking around. Yes, and so we ask you to subscribe so you can keep up with uh, our reviews of some provincial campgrounds that we're going to be visiting this summer. Hit the like button. Hit the like button and leave your comments in the YouTube channel. We love that because then we get to respond directly. Uh, if you have any camping tips or questions, uh, put them in there. We love yeah, that. Yeah, we and if you we'll know happily anything, answer them. Yeah, and if you know anything more about this uh, lake as a fishing lake, let us know. That'd be great too. But yeah, as for next week, we are planning to go to Nudimik. Whether we'll have guests or not, well, that beca that's... We'll find out. So, yeah, we'll find out. And really what that means is we have to... Hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.